So Curse 2, The Bite, also known as The Bite. The on-screen title just says The Bite. Um, nice, nice Blu-ray of it by uh, Scream Factory, the, a double feature with The Curse Part 1. The Curse 2 is not is just a sequel in name only. It doesn't have anything to do with the original Curse, uh, other than there's the idea of transformation, and uh, it's it's uh, it's uh, it's it's a ridiculous movie. It's 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 a great. Well, I mean, there's always this tradition in like science fiction horror of somebody getting exposed to something and then like transforming. You know, I the, the the idea that keeps the the movie uh, it just keeps coming in my head constantly is uh, the incredible melting man, you know, and stuff like that. And people get, but this is a ridiculous transformation. Uh, two two young people are, are driving across what is it, Arizona, New Mexico, in a jeep. I, this brain, this movie has turned my brain to mush. Uh, you know, it's Jill Sholin. Uh, the who is becoming like a scream queen, a mini scream queen there in the um, the mid to eight lady late eighties and early nineties. I mean, she did a a whole run where she was in the Curse Two, uh, and then well, of course before that was it was Stepfather, the Curse Two, uh, and then uh, Popcorn, Cutting Class, uh, uh, Fan of the Opera. Uh, uh, Robert England's fan of the opera, you know, just a string of, of these really generic uh, late 80s, early 90s uh, horror movies, and, you know. So, you know, uh, she, and even before Lindsay Lohan and Shan Doherty, she had that kind of look and that kind of horsey voice, you know. It's like, you know, you go out with her, you want to, you know, give her a lozenge, you know. <laughs> it's like, you know, <laughs> you want to give her like a, a heart and, uh, you know, and, and instead of like candy, candy hearts, like full of Ricolas, you know, you just wanna, like what's what's wrong with you? Why are you so hoarse? And so she's she's traveling across the the desert with this guy played by J. Eddie Peck, a real nice looking uh, young young guy, and he gets bitten by a snake, and slow and and very slowly, snaky things start happening to him. Uh, snaky transformative things start happening to him, and then, and then, uh, the, the f fucking Jamie Farr shows up. Fucking Jamie Farr from Mash, fucking shows up out of nowhere and gives him some venom, uh, anti venom, and and Jamie Farr says, "Oh no, I gave him the wrong anti venom," and then he got, and then so fucking Jamie Farr is chasing after him, uh, and you know what the what the fuck is going on? I, I don't know, and. I hate to spoil it because there's there's weird snaky shit that goes on. He he just he goes to a bar and you know and and snaky things start happening and he gets snake strength and his 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 snaky hand starts doing shit and I I just it was just a spoiler. I gave it away not that much. Okay. But it's really stupid and weird shit starts to happen. Uh, and, you know, into the mix there comes Bo Svensson as a, as a bumbling uh, sheriff, uh, which is, is a joy to see and a joy to watch. Of course you have, as I said, Jamie Farr and Cindy Lassick, uh, who was, you know, uh, uh, they... Sidney Lassick was also in um, was also in Sunny Boy, which was another film from the, around the same time from producer uh, of Video Asinitis. Uh and I think that was also shot in like the New Mexico Arizona area, right? Maybe this film was like a two for one with uh, with, uh, with 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 Sunny Boy. I don't know. I don't know. You know, Ovidio Asinitis made some of the weird, most like, what the, what the fuck? He produced some of the most weirdest, most what the fuck movies, like, 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 what the fuck? You know, like, Sonny Boy is like, Sonny Boy, you know, it's like, 
David Carradine in drag with Bluto in the fucking desert with a kid. And even the guy, the lead guy in, 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 in Sunny Boy, kind of looks vaguely like the lead in The Curse. I don't know. I don't know what the hell's going on there. I don't know what's happening. It's a, it's a weird scene with full of weird and old character actors and Jamie Farr and like, uh, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. According to Lance Hendrickson, this guy of video asinitis was like obsessed with getting like any kind of like older actors or celebrities and just like, and you know, stuffing his movies with them, you know, like tentacles and with, with uh, Henry Fonda and, and like every, everybody in, in tentacles and, and, uh, and, uh, and, and in, 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 like, The Visitor. Oh, my God, The Visitor. Oh, what the hell is going on with The Visitor? <laughs> so this is the tradition of, like, WTF, like, what the hell is going on movies, is carried through in what is just a, a, a simple, what should be a simple monster movie, The Bite. And then you've got Screaming Mad George's uh, special effects, pre-CGI. So if we were making this film in the 90s and the early 2000s, you'd have all these, it'd be like Anaconda, you'd have all these CGI snakes and all this shit. Uh, but no, there's real snakes. Real. Re it, it seems like this is like Screaming Mad George's, it's like a continuation of his work from that movie uh, Silent Night, Deadly Night, The Initiation. That had, that had Screaming Mad George effects in it and it was, and that movie was totally screwed up and it had I think it had a lot of snaky snake effects in it and so there's a lot of snakes there's a lot of boas and coming out of things and shit and and in in, in curse the bite uh great I you know I never watched this on VHS you know the, the VHS was so inviting but I was like curse two I haven't even seen curse one I'm not gonna know what's gonna happen you know but really uh no, I just decided to take the plunge, and I finally watched it, and I'm like, oh, it's great. You don't need to know what's going on in the curse one. Just, just ignore the, the curse two. No, no. This movie has nothing to do with the curse one. Uh, it's it's incredible. It's, it's, it's a movie that's in a universe unto itself of weirdness and badness. Um, it's, I guess, something the Mystery Science Theater crowd can appreciate and, and mock and do whatever. I mean, because it's very mockable. It's very, very, very mockable. Uh, you know, in fact, if you, if, if, you know, the MST3K reboot, I mean, my God, this is like a film perfect made for, uh, for mystery science theater usage. Uh, but it, it, and it's, it's just so weird. It's just like, I mean, I think any, a video asinitis film, uh, you could, you could put in uh, on mystery science and, and, uh, and it would work because they're just so weird. They're so weird, 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 weird. And it's a, but it's it's also a monster movie. You got Jill Sholin and, uh, weird, weird, but great, <laughs> worth a watch, worth a watch. And the new Blu-ray is all scope widescreen. It's, it's it's you know he liked to shoot. Oh, video Asinitis, like Sonny Boy in this one. They're shot like in, you know, thirty-five scope, Panavision, and they they're big movies. You know, with Italian craftsmanship in the, you know, the crazy Italian going and doing these exploitation movies. You know, this, again, this film was like the late, late, eight, late, late, late 80s. So it was kind of the end of like the Italian exploitation films, you know, being made, you know, the way they used to be in the 70s and the early 80s. So it's, if you love Italian Euro cult, you know, like that type of vibe, you know, the, the Joe D'Amato's and the Fulci's and the what and so forth, then you, you, I think you'll, you'll get a kick out of this movie as well, because it kind of follows in that tradition as well, in, in the unique Ovidio Asinitis way. But uh, an interesting, interesting, weird, weird movie. <laughs> Curse the light.